what this building offers is something we don't have in SOAS at the moment. Um, so we've created some spaces where um, modern um, styles of learning can take place. So people bring along their own laptops and tablets and they can connect them into the building um, and use them in small groups and things like that. And it's quite different to the, um, uh, the spaces we have at the moment. We have the library, which is very formal, where people have their nose in a book. Um, and we have large teaching spaces. Um, and, and really what we're, we're opening up here is, is the ability for people to work in small groups um, uh, with modern ways of working and, and a brilliant environment to work in as well. Quite a difficult building to work in. Um, we were working with the, within the existing um, footprint of the building. So we've had to excavate a new lower ground area. Um, we took 4,000 tonnes of gravel um, out of that area behind me. Um, and that's been reused on a golf course in uh, northwest London. And we took out um, a number of lumps of concrete and stone and bricks and things like that. And they were all recycled um, over in, in Docklands and they've been reused in, uh, in other building projects. Um, it's a grade two star listed building, um, which puts it in the top 5% of historic buildings in the country. Um, and it's a relatively modern building to get that uh, category being built in the 1930s. Um, it's got some fantastic materials in it. Um, it's got Portland stone, same material as used in St Paul's Cathedral and, um, and Buckingham Palace. And we've also got um, acres of travertine marble. And travertine marble is a limestone that comes from Italy. And it's formed in a different way. It's formed in a, in a hot spring rather than a cold sea. Um, and if you go around the building, you'll see it's quite different to the Portland stone. The building was commissioned by the University of London as its headquarters building in the 1930s. The architect is Charles Holden, who was quite famous for his work on the London Underground in particular, with the Piccadilly Line stations and London Transport headquarters. Um, as I say, it has a, a grade two star listing um, because of some of the features um, of it and, and its historical importance. It's made working in the building a bit more challenging um, because where we would have wanted to um, perhaps create new openings or change the layouts, um, we've, had to, we've had to stick with the original. Um, and some of those areas have, have, have come out really well. Um, so I think the school are quite pleased that we, we stuck with those original shapes and sizes.